Now we're going to talk about how to create a post. Under the header communicate, you're going to click on the subpage posts. From that page, you're going to click on new post. Now you do have an option. If you just click on new post, you will only get a new post. However, if you click on the down arrow, you can choose to create a new poll or you can choose to create conference signups. For this, we are going to create a new post. When you create a new post, you are going to enter the class that you want it to go to the subject of your post and then your message or your description. You can click edit translation, which states that it will edit the Google translated text for Spanish. And if you click this button, what you will get is that it will provide translations for post add-ons. So what this means is if you post any add-ons, it will also translate those add-ons to Spanish for you. You will determine who should see this post, if it is staff or parents and you will uncheck who you do not want to see the post. To the right, you will decide when you want to notify your users. Do you want to send it at their preferred time, which is instant or digest? So I have 29 users who instantly get them and I have 13 that have the digest, which is they don't get it till after the workday ends. You can send it instantly, which overrides the digest settings of those 13 and sends it instantly to all of them. Or I do not not notify any of them and it just sends it onto the post page and parents will see it when they see it and log in. I'm going to send instantly. You can preview your post before you send it to determine if it is what you want to see. And you can tell you get a warning that says this is a preview of your post on the web for email text or app notification preview you can click to receive a text test and then you can click post now you can schedule your post you could save it as a draft or you can preview and that is how you create a post in parent square